What is good, Hellraisers? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Today we're continuing our streak into unlocking every single possible blueprint for every single gun in Warzone, whether it be Modern Warfare, Cold War, Vanguard, or whichever Call of Duty integrates the Warzone franchise. Now today's topic is a a gun that everybody everybody knows. If you play any Call of Duty, you know this gun, whether it be in uh, Modern Warfare, Cold War, Black Ops. Whichever uh, Call of Duty you play, there's always going to be the MP5, the one and only. Now the MP5 is always a, a gun that's used by the majority, of course, alongside the MP7 in some games. Uh, Cold War does not have MP7, but it does have an MP5, so the MP5 is usually a gun that's uh, in both uh, Modern Warfare and Cold War uh, franchises. Now, the MP5 in uh, Modern Warfare era, it was a, it was a beast. It was uh, it was a beast from the start till the end. Of course, it was very closely rivaled by the MP7. Um, uh, I myself played with the MP7 quite a lot until I discovered the MP5. The good thing about the MP5 and the Modern Warfare time is busy the hip fire. Now the MP7 is great for that accuracy and usually downs a lot of more people. But the MP5, uh, especially with the 30 bullet magazine it had, yeah, the 30 bullet magazine and that hip fire, they really gave that a little bit extra edge for. Um, for players, so that's why uh, I opted for the MP5 after the MP7 for a while. Even though I got one of the best, uh, the best eras of Call of Duty, in my opinion, was when Modern Warfare was in Warzone, and I used to get mad, mad, mad multi kills, uh, team wipes just with the MP7. It was it was a crazy time. I feel like after Cold War integrated, uh, it was a different story, and then when Vanguard integrated, it's again another different story. But back in the days, a few years, a uh, few years old, but it was uh, it was a very good era. Anyways, then there was the MP5 for the uh, Cold War. Now the Cold War MP5 at first it was it was pretty much weak, uh, but then with time it gained notoriety, especially with the uh, uh, Roman Oculus. Uh, I think it's around season five. All these new blueprints started coming up, and then all of a sudden, of course, they, since they brought a lot of uh, new blueprints, they wanted the gun to perform better. So I guess they uh, they gave it a little uh, buff, and all of a sudden it became a beast. And they nerfed it after I think a season and a half, but. Uh, it did its time. It was a very, very powerful gun. Uh, I think till now it remains a very powerful gun, but um, but yeah, we see less people going for it. A lot of people are going for the AK-74U now. Um, of course, this uh, area that I'm talking is before the, the integration of Vanguard guns. So we're talking about like Modern Warfare and Cold War guns. I wouldn't be reviewing this gun, uh, comparing it to every single Call of Duty. I want to compare it to its era, because usually when Cold War integrated the um, Warzone, all the Modern Warfare guns took a back seat. And uh, but yeah, so it wouldn't be fair to compare them um, uh, with the newer guns that are actually uh, were you know the Call of Duty. Uh, let's call it people try to you know promote every current Call of Duty guns so that way they can sell all their blueprints. Um, uh, but yeah, as far as this one, so t we're gonna be talking about the MP5, as of course uh, you guys have guessed by now. But it's the Modern Warfare MP5, as you can see on the top left corner of the screen. Now this one is the legendary. Uh, flood blueprint as you can tell it was uh, introduced in season one so this is uh, way back in the days a few years old now uh, pre-integration of Cold War into Warzone of course and yeah the the MP5 already I mean everybody played with played the uh, multiplayer player before the war before Warzone even came out so everybody had this gun pretty much leveled up so they really didn't need that many blueprints but of course everybody got the blueprints just for the aesthetics um, it's, it's really very different than any, all the other guns because the MP5, every single person who played with it um, had it leveled up so we didn't really need all these uh, extra fancy uh, aesthetic blueprints but as far as this one, the way to unlock it is uh, it was through leveling up your battle pass season 1, so it's a pretty old one um, I personally did not get the game back in season 1, I got it season 3 but I think there was a uh, I think there was an event or a uh, uh, what do you call it? Not not a blueprint blitz event because that was uh, not yet out, but it was one of these contraband contracts, and I must have gotten through one of these contraband contracts for the flood. There was MP5, there was a Car 98, uh, fluid dynamics. There was a, a bunch of other weapons, uh, but yeah, because I did not get the game in uh, season one. I got it in season uh, in season three. Last week was season three, so we'll see season four of uh, Modern Warfare. Now, as far as the attachments, if you want to replicate this gun. What you need is the FSS mini barrel, which is a pretty good uh, barrel. It's usually the one that a lot of people use instead of having the uh, monolithic suppressor on the gun. You have the Forge Tech Ultralight Stock. 
for the stock of course everybody has their own uh, stock but this one's a pretty good stock for the mp5 you have the sleight of hand of course the mp5 does take a bit more time to reload uh, i mean the episode the sleight of hand is great for multiplayer i'm not too sure if it has a big effect on uh, warzone or not uh, but of course it could never uh, it could never hurt to have that and then you have the 45 round magazine this is very very important for the mp5 um, now as you can see there is no optics the mp5 has a really good iron sight and mp5 and mp7 have really great iron sights for the modern warfare guns so you really don't need any optics for that 45 round magazine is definitely important you do run through ammo quickly with mp5 it has a quite a fast uh, fire rate so you definitely need to have the uh, rounds in your favor and then you have the operator for grip now this one a lot of people some people like the ranger some people like the commando i mean it's it's really up to you so you can either keep it like this and level up the gun to get a golden or um what do you call it damascus or you can uh, switch it up and uh, see which one is the best for you uh, mop the floor with your enemies using the flood smg which features the fss mini operator foregrip 45 round magazine forge attack ultralight and the slide of a hand perk Accuracy increases a bit, you lose a tiny bit of range, you increase fire rate and mobility. Yeah, with that, uh, it's the, uh, okay, so the magazine is supposed to lower the mobility, but all the other stuff, like the stock and the barrel, do increase the mobility, so it does compensate. And then you have a bit less control. Um, yeah, it's because pro probably because of that uh, 45 round magazine. But all in all, it's a pretty solid, uh, also it's, a, it's a not bad gun, I mean, aesthetic wise, it's pretty nice. It's a, it's a very solid, uh, very solid build. I'll show you guys the HD 3D cutscene before talking a bit more about it. Well, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section below. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I will get back to you guys as quick as possible. Again, the MP5 is always a reliable gun. If you're new to Warzone, not not people uh, keep uh, downloading the game later on in the few seasons, and they don't really. Some people don't really care about doing a specific uh, loadouts. But if, if you really can be bothered to make a specific loadout, just try to put one with the MP5 in it. You won't be, no matter what the attachments are that you have on it, it's always going to be a solid weapon. And of course, if you find it as ground loot, do not hesitate to grab it. It's always a good option. Always, always a good option. So it's much better than a lot of the ARs, LMGs, and uh, a lot of the other SMGs out there. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If, uh, again, if you have another question or any other blueprint, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, I'll leave you guys with the kill footage is coming up next and i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video thanks for tuning in and have fun this is tracker three one
Come <laughs> on. 